is Isabella and today is Scripture Saturday. Oh my gosh, how this week has been so fast. Every day we did our lessons, we did our scripture study. It's been flying, but I am glad because that means tomorrow we have our Sunday service. So today we are going to test you guys on the scripture we were going through all the week, which was Psalms 34, 17. But before we do that, I want to ask you guys, did you guys enjoy this week's lessons? Let me know. I'll give you some time. If you guys did, that's awesome. If you guys didn't, then I'm sorry. I'll try my best next time. But I hope you guys learned a lot. I can tell you, I learned so much. So we learned about Gideon. We learned about Gideon, right? And we learned how, I say this every time, he was a mighty man of God. And yes, though he doubted, though he was scared so many times, he not once disobeyed or questioned the Lord. He asked for signs, he called out to God when he was scared, but not once he doubted and he said, you know, Lord, um, I'm not gonna do what you're telling me to do just because I don't wanna do it. Not once he did that, but he always obeyed. And like we learn on Talk to God Tuesday, he talked to God always. How we learn on Worship Wednesday, he worshiped. How, he learned on th how we learn on Thankful Thursday, he, he was thankful at all times, no matter if God took away so many of his soldiers no matter if God if God did so many things that for him maybe he had the reasons to say you know I'm ungrateful for this God but not once he was ungrateful not once he disobeyed so I can say in my life I learned so many things about Gideon what were some of the things you guys learned about Gideon let me know those are some really great things I hope you guys can keep all of this in your hearts and in your minds that next time maybe in a future lesson when we ask you who was Gideon you can say Gideon was a mighty man of God that was sent to deliver the people of Israel from the Midianites so now actually let's do our scripture let's go over it one more time but before we do that let's pray so what do we do to pray we stretch and then we clap so once again, I'll pray and then you repeat after me because I say it every time, I don't have anyone next to me. So I pray and you repeat after me. So let's say, close our eyes and let's say, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the lessons that you gave us. Thank you because we were able to learn so many new things. I pray that I may do well on today's scripture. And that if I don't do well, I may keep on practicing and I may keep on learning more about the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Clap, clap, clap. Give yourself a tap on the shoulder. You guys are doing good. So, okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna say first, I'm gonna say the scripture first, and then you say it with me. You say it at the same time I say it. We're gonna do it two times. I say it, you say it with me. And then the third time, I'm just gonna do the signs. I'm gonna do the hand gestures and everything. And I want you at home to try it and do it by yourself. So why don't we do it? So it's Psalm 34, 17. And it says, the Lord, we point up, the Lord hears his people when they call out to him. He rescues them, he grabs you from all their trouble. So let's see one more time, okay? The Lord hears his people when they cry, when they call out to him. He rescues them from all their trouble. Okay, so this is the third time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the gestures and I want you to say it at home, alone, or who, with whoever you are. If you're with your brothers, if you're with your sisters, with your mom, your dad. I want all of you who are watching me to say it together. So why don't we do it, okay? Yes, so 
I hope you guys did great on today's scripture test. I hope you guys have been practicing it and I hope you guys did well today. It was a great pleasure to do all of this to remind you guys so many times about the scripture throughout the week. I hope that you guys enjoy tomorrow's Sunday service, that throughout the week, that any day of the time, you may worship God if you want to put Christian music on, if you want to put worship songs on, you know, whatever you may do, I hope that throughout the week, throughout this day, you may worship God, you may talk to God, you may be thankful to God and to others. And I hope you guys have learned once again, have learned a lot from this week. I miss your way of life, kids, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!